Politics for just a moment now. Authorities are treating the shooting at the Family Research Council, an act of domestic terrorism. That's how they're categorizing it. We first told you about that yesterday, but the feds are still not classifying the Fort Hood massacre that way. That attack, of course, back in 2009 was the worst shooting ever on a U.S. military base. Still, it's labeled today as workplace violence. This is despite emails between the accused gunman, Major Nadal Hassan, and Anwar Awalaki. He's the Yemeni uh, based cleric that was linked to Al Qaeda. Remember him? So, why this double standard? Apparently, it's a double standard, but we'll see. Uh, Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris is taking a closer look. She's in Washington today. Catherine? Well, Jenna, thank you and good morning. According to the Patriot Act, domestic terrorism is defined as an act of violence that is intended to, quote, intimidate or coerce a civilian population to influence the policy of a government by intimidation or coercion or to affect the conduct of a government by mass destruction, assassination or kidnapping. So the shooting earlier this month at the Sikh temple where six were killed by an alleged neo-Nazi military veteran was publicly described by the Attorney General Eric Holder as an act of terrorism motivated, he said, by hate. That is precisely, precisely what happened here an act of terrorism, an act of hatred, a hate crime that is anathema to the founding principles of our nation and to who we are as an American people. And in a recent hearing on Capitol Hill, the Homeland Security Secretary was pressed on whether her department considered the massacre at the Colorado movie theater where a former neuroscience student is accused of killing 12 and wounding 58 others also as an act of terrorism. The uh Aurora tragedy and it, true tragedy is under investigation um, and I, I don't want to get too much into the comment on that because we there's a lot we still don't know. Is there a federal presence and so forth in an investigation of an incident of that type? Yes. But a recruitment center shooting in the summer of 2009 by Carlos Bledsoe, who described himself as an operative for al-Qaeda in Yemen, was not handled as a terrorism case. It was prosecuted in Arkansas state court. And as you mentioned, the Fort Hood massacre in November of 2009, where 13 were killed and more than 30 others wounded, has never been described publicly by the administration as an act of terrorism, even though the alleged shooter shouted Alu Akbar, or God is great when he opened fire. Now, you know, we can have really uh, a legal discussion about whether it's a hate crime or an act of terrorism. I just wish there was some consistency here. And certainly, to me, Fort Hood would be the classic case of what should be uh, a clear case of terrorism. The Defense Department is dealing with Fort Hood in the context of workplace violence. And as part of its ongoing investigation of the massacre, one of the soldiers who was injured there said to Fox that this was clearly an insult, the inconsistency, Jenna. Mm. Something we'll continue to take a look at as that Fort Hood massacre, the trial, uh, is, is delayed now, but it's set to begin. It's something we'll certainly be talking a lot more about. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.